Chakowsky and oh, Miss Larry Jasper. How you doing, guys? I just want to say, City Council's been doing a great job. I've been watching, guys. Haven't come, but paying attention closely. Mayor Graham was doing a hell of a job. Can you hear me okay? A little louder, yeah. <clears throat> How's that? Better? Perfect. All right, great. At least I can talk. Usually the mic doesn't work when I talk. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyways, um, so I congratulated you, but the, the, the idea here is you're doing a forensic audit. I wanted to make sure you had a few facts in front of you because I know you're fairly new to the pro process. Uh, you need to look at the July financials, uh, 2019-2020, $7 million disappeared. Poof, nobody knows where it went. Um, on the promissory note, it was done on the uh, Global Settlement Agreement. There's $1.7 million was added to it. There was a year of payments not made this year specifically, which you probably don't know. But if there was payments made for that promissory note, you need to know where they went because it didn't go towards the promissory note. It's supposed to balloon after seven years. Also, the ex-mayor had a legal loophole. She signed a confidentiality agreement based on the settlement agreement, which they dismissed meaning that $6.5 million that Oakland County was supposed to do repairs on the Phoenix Center didn't occur. And special deals went down behind closed doors because she had the confidentiality. The only way to get that information is to have them go to court. It spates it right in the contract. I'm going to email you a copy of these documents so that you'll have that on hand. But I wanted you to make aware of that. So that global settlement agreement, where's the... Uh, has anybody here seen the private, pub, par, uh, private public partnership? Because I don't know about you, but every attorney I've ever met has said read anything before you sign it. However, resolutions were given that allows, doesn't allow you to change it unless you have someone like me who was torturedly interfered with my project, Little Cities. Go to littlecities.net. You'll see that all the things you've been talking about here, we have a repar reparation process. We have a... Uh, educational platform for hiring jobs to high income, uh, all kinds of different stuff, but you need to take it. I don't have enough time to go over that. That being said, um, you need to see the private-public partnership. And right now, most of the citizens of Pontiac love the TP there. They had beautiful concerts and different times on the Phoenix Center. That was part of the parking lease agreement. The city has insured that. It shouldn't be no more than filing an insurance claim and having it fixed. It should be done. That simple. But it's been sitting there for months and nobody's done anything, so obviously nobody's read the parking lease agreement that was signed by the prior council. And then you have to look at all the different resolutions on that. Now, Tim and I, we're going to talk about it, but if you're going to do the forensic audit, you need to look at all those different numbers. And right there, I see that deal could be overturned. And by the way, who is your partner in a private-public partnership? Because it isn't Juan or Locke. They're stickmen. And if you look at the resolution, you understand why. It brings in all kinds of that other partners. That concludes your time, sir. Thank you very much. So that concludes, uh, um, excuse me, any comments, public comments. All right, we're now at closing comments with mayor, clerk, and council. Uh,